Yo, what's going on everyone? I hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic. This video is a bit abrupt of a video because I've been seeing many comments. Good morning, I got a few comments. Um, last week I was getting comments. I think a particular type of video is being promoted by YouTube. Uh, not my own videos, but uh, everyone's videos. So I wanted to address because um, I do have a video on this topic and people are asking questions because at that time I didn't clarify many things. It was just a review sort of video. So we're talking about l carnitine and if you see this is uh, one of the products that I use that I'm talking about and of course another product that I'm, yeah, I use that I'm, uh, I'm gonna talk about. So I use Muscle Blaze as well as Zenith Nutrition. Personally I feel that Zenith is better but both are actually good. You can choose anything but this video is not about review or which one you should go for. It's, this video is about talking about L-carnitine, pretty much everything about L-carnitine. So I'm gonna go quickly but I'm gonna try to cover as much as I can. If you think you've got more question, you can put it in the comment section. So, uh, first of all, what is L-carnitine? So, L-carnitine is a naturally occurring amino acid that the body can produce on its own. So, it's uh, naturally occurring. It can come from food if you take a lot of meat, uh, veggies, uh, and in some cases, uh, fish also. Then you won't be uh, de in deficit of L-carnitine anyway. Um, it, your body can produce it now. The thing is, how body produces it and what does it do when it is done producing it? So, first of all, how, and that may answer a lot of questions and answer questions regarding your investment as well. So, a body uh, creates L-carnitine from the two essential amino acids, lysine and methionine. So, if you see, uh, these are the two, and also it needs vitamin C to produce L-carnitine. So, if you're taking essential amino acid, or say, for example, you are taking whey protein a couple of times a day, and you're probably highly dosed with these two essential amino acid, which the body won't be producing on its own. You had to produce, give body those things. Um, so anyhow, if you're providing your body these two things, as well as the vitamin C, which you can get from so many natural sources, then your body is good to go with creating L-carnitine as and when it needs. Now, uh, one of the primary things that L-carnitine does, and there are so many things it does, is that, and the one that we're gonna talk about more in here, is transporting fatty acid to mitochondria. And this is exactly the definition, all right? Don't interpret this saying L-carnitine uh, makes you lose fat. L-carnitine is one of those amino acids which help in transporting fatty acid to mitochondria. What does it mean? That there is fatty acid in different parts of your body, like your tummy, in your hands, in your thighs, and anywhere. And the job of L-carnitine is to grab that fatty acid and move it to your mitochondria so that energy is produced. But that's only what it does. Its job, and I'm saying with the stress here, and please listen this part to this part carefully because it's important. l carnitine's job is not to mobilize your fatty acid. That's a different thing. So mobilizing your fatty acid means making your body, getting your body to a state where it can actually start burning fat. So your fatty acid, which are stored in different regions of your body, that needs to start mobilizing uh, until which you are probably running out of uh, carbs and glucose. So there are two different states in body which in, in which the body works. Now we'll, we, that's not the topic of this video, but that's important point that uh, L-carnitine will not make you grab fat from one portion that you were not able to get out of. I mean, you you were not able to extract fat from your tummy. It would help you do that. No, I don't do that. You have to help yourself extract fat from there, and then L-carnitine's job is to fasten the process of getting it to mitochondria. All right. To uh, another important thing where we might do many mistakes is the different type of isotopes or variations of L-carnitine that is out there. So the first one is DL-car or DL-carnitine, and this is a big no-no. Somehow, and I don't find it as a supplement, but somehow if your body starts producing this thing more, then this is the ineffective form of L-carnitine. So it has a bad effect. The bad effect is because it's there in the body, body kind of gets duped um, by this um, compound and it feels that it doesn't need the actual L-carnitine. So having L DL-carnitine in your body will uh, negatively affect you by letting your body absorb less L-carnitine, all right? So that's a big no-no for you to go. The next one is acetal L-carnitine or something that's called uh, Alcar, sometimes big A-L-C-A-R, Alcar. So, out of all the isotopes, this is the most tested one, and I'm talking about this one, and uh, this is the most tested one, and its job is not to lose fat, its job is to cross the blood-brain barrier. So there is a fine membrane uh, that covers the brain from the blood vessels, and uh, 
acetyl level car can cross that barrier. Some other amino acids, some other forms of compounds can also cross that barrier and they do different things. So when it crosses the blood band barrier, the usage of acetyl L car or L car is that it uh, helps recover from neurodegenerative diseases that someone is diagnosed with. Or if you want to increase your focus into anything, if you're studying, if you're a student and you really want to experiment with this thing, I wouldn't say you should experiment because chemical compounds you don't even need to, body can produce as and when it needs. But if you really want to do, this is uh, perfect for students or whoever is preparing for any exams and needs a lot more focus, memory and stuff like that. All right, it can actually promote uh, neurogenesis. Now, moving on to propanol L-carnitine. Uh, this one is again not used for fat loss or anything. It's used for circulatory diseases So it uh, lets you have better blood flow and uh, Get your peripheral blood flow into a proper situation So this is mostly used uh, not as a sports supplement or anything but for diagnosis uh, diseases now, The last one the most popular one which is used for sports supplement is uh, L-carnitine L-tartrate L-tartrate works as an agent. It's not the one that actually makes the fat movement it just works as an agent with the uh, L-carb. Now, uh, the reason why it's used as a sports supplement is not because it makes you lose fat. The reason it's used as a sports supplement is because its absorption rate is the fastest among all the other isotopes. Right? So the way it helps is that it can help you recover from your workout, it can help you recover from your soreness and stuff like that. And it can arguably, arguably, help you lose, lose fat. Now we're gonna get in there and talk about how it uh, says that it can lose fat and what are the studies that say. So before we go into the studies that we have a list in here, I'm gonna talk about, again, restressing what I said in the very beginning. So we're talking about L-carnitine L-tartrate, the last version, which is used as a sports supplement. And this particular thing is used to, used to uh, transport fatty acid to your mitochondria. That means you are already in a state to mobilize fat, then you'll be this L carnitine, the presence of excess L carnitine will help you move those uh, fatty acid into your mitochondria and produce energy. So that's an essential thing out there. Now, let's see what the studies are saying. Now, we're, I'm talking about three studies. There are more you can go find out more. I'm going to put the link of all these three studies in the description. You can go check it out, and I would suggest highly that you check it out. Don't trust this video only, all right? Okay, so the first study that was done, it was done on an eight-week study. It was an eight-week long study on 38 women, and they were exercising about four times a week. Having L-carnitine in some of them, and some of them were not supplementing with L-carnitine, there was no effect at all. They were not having any effect at all, all right? Second one, it was a 90-minute bicycle exercise that individuals were doing for four weeks. Now, people who were having the L-carnitine and people who were not having L-carnitine didn't have any fat burning effect, excess fat burning effect in that case. Now, there is one positive study also that was done where nine studies were done and it's uh, in a accumulation of nine study information where mostly obese individuals were used that people have more fat in them. They were showing about 1.3 kilogram on an average more fat loss capacity if they were supplementing with L-carnitine. This is the one only one that has a positive effect and the other ones and many more has no effect at all. Now why is this so? And then what is my personal experience? Now I'm going to share my personal experience. I, the, when I created this channel at that point, at that very point, I was about 20 kilograms down in three and a half months and I was using L-carnitine and I felt it was working. But uh, you gotta remember at that time, I was doing pretty much everything in the fat loss book, all right? So I was doing, I was washing my food to get rid of the oil and excess, uh, anything that is excessive other than the food. And then I was doing intermittent fasting. I was even doing sometimes OMAD, uh, not too much, but I was getting to OMAD. I was mostly doing warrior diet. So if you look at the whole thing, then I was actually uh, in fat burning mode, which means that a human body operates in two different energy metabolism. Uh, ways. One is the glycogen metabolism and one is the fatty acid metabolism and in case you can say if you're in ketosis. So I was doing ketosis pretty well at that time. And uh, so the thing is my body was already uh, burning fat. So fat from different parts of my body was already moving around and being used as uh, energy at certain times in the whole day or whole week or something like that. Right. Now, when I supplemented with uh, L-carnitine, L-tartrate, what happened is that that process of mobilizing fat, it just got faster. 
um, and it did get faster. I noticed that, and that's why I said that I used both. Both worked. This one worked less. I guess it's not too much noticeable. And actually, I shouldn't make such a statement because there are so many different factors. I don't even know which one worked better. Uh, to be very specific, but I personally felt that I it worked better because this thing gave me a wee bit of hint of diarrhea, which is a noted side effect of L-carnitine. This one didn't. And um, price-wise and effectiveness-wise, I still think that it is better. That's my personal opinion. You might have a completely different uh, experience on your own. But what I was saying is that if you notice what I just said, and if you compare this with these studies, then you see that's exactly what's going to happen. If you are someone who's working out and having a five uh, meal a day sort of regime, your body is not actually in a fat burning mode. Most of the time not. It's uh, difficult for your body to burn fat. You can put on a lot of muscle, but to burn fat, you, one of the easiest way is to either get into ketosis and the way to get into ketosis is to get into intermittent fasting, warrior diet, sometimes OMAD, that is one meal a diet sort of things. So if you do all these things, I'd say yes, you can try one bottle of this thing or this thing, it's your choice, and then give it a shot, see if it makes you fast, you know, like uh, uh, you were doing how many kilograms in a week or two weeks and then you supplement with L-carnitine with the same regime. See if you're losing more. I personally lost more at that time. But if you're someone who's just working out, but eating normally and like having five, six meals a day, you're probably not gonna get any benefit out of this thing. That's, uh, that's what I think and that's what the studies are also suggesting. So uh, in conclusion, I'm gonna tell you this thing that if you're just thinking that if you put L-carnitine in your body and you start losing a lot of fat, that's not gonna happen. If you are in a fat loss situation right now, you're metabolizing, uh, metabolizing fat anyway, you can supplement with L-carnitine, L-tartrate, and that's gonna increase your fat metabolism anyway. Now, all these things said, I gotta give you a declaration because a lot of people ask me this thing. I don't have any certification or anything on this field. Um, I am sharing my experience and I do study a lot online about uh, clinical trials and studies that were done and I share those experiences and those studies. So if you really wanna try this out and you have any questions, you can ask me, but always do your own research. And if you have your family doctor, or if you got someone who, the regular physician who you keep on, keep on visiting, you can discuss these things with them and you should discuss this thing with them because depending on your body's uh, current situation, any sort of uh, difficulty you're going through physiologically, psychologically, having these supplements can have an effect. So always do consult those. My job is to give you as much information as I can. And that's what I try to do. I hope you like this video. If you wish to purchase any of these two supplements that I've given here, I've provided Amazon links in the description. You may choose to buy from those or not. That's your choice. I thank you a lot for all your time and have an awesome life, folks. Ciao.